Melissa Galladay. I am a registered pharmacist with a passion for nutrition. I love doing these calls and I'm here three times a week to help you master your own biochemistry. And the goal here is to teach you the things that you do need on a daily basis to help you repair and regenerate. I want you to know if you're out there listening to this and you're experiencing any sort of suffering, there are options and I can help you. As a pharmacist for 15 years, I saw people repeatedly get sicker and sicker. They were not repairing and regenerating, yet repairing and regenerating is the natural state of the body. If you're listening to this video, give us a like or a dislike. Please leave comments. We also love if you tell us what city and state you're listening to this from, whenever that may be. And today's topic is going to be burns. We're going to call it burn two. Because earlier today I did a very short segment on burns because I actually had an experience to burn this weekend on my own and just wanted to share a little bit about that, what I had done to help myself heal and rapidly repair. And one of the things we did discuss was, you know, making sure that as much heat as you can pull out of the burn as possible is important. I currently have the burn pretty well bandaged up, but you can kind of see some red there and a little bit of red on that middle thumb there. This one's pretty severe and it's red and it's starting to uh, get a little leathery and you want to make sure that you keep burns moist. Yet yeah, what this segment's going to be about is what kind of nutrition should I be making sure I'm getting a lot of to help repair and regenerate that part of my body. And I want you guys to know that vitamin A, vitamin C, selenium, which is a mineral, and zinc, which is also a mineral, those are really important in skin health. So I'm going to make sure I'm getting enough of those in the next couple of weeks to assist myself in repairing and regenerating that part of your bo my body. Those of you out there listening, if you had a burn, you could go buy some high quality uh, gamma linoleic acid. It's GLA. Uh, also know it comes from borage oil. I'm a fan of Source Naturals. You could puncture the capsule and then you could squeeze the oil uh, directly onto the skin and that'll help. And that's an oil that is breathable. One of the things you'll hear a lot is to put butter on burns. If that's a recent burn, I would actually advise against that because the oil from the butter and the fats is actually going to hold the heat in and you don't want to do that. Now if it's down the line, theoretically butter could be an option, but I, I would never recommend that. I, I think some sort of moisture, making sure that you're keeping it moist. Things like aloe vera, a really nice MSM lotion that's not non-fragranced is another option. Uh, maybe even some neosporin ointment or a little bit of Vaseline. The goal again is to keep the wound moist so the skin cells can traverse over because that's how wounds are healed. And I did go over that earlier. So let's just talk a little bit about, you know, again, I, I mentioned vitamin A, vitamin C, selenium, and zinc. And what I want you guys to know about those guys is they're, they're heavily involved in all the reactions in your skin. And when you have damage, you're going to be utilizing a lot of them to repair and regenerate. Another great thing about vitamin C and vitamin A, they're also very powerful antioxidants. And those are going to be fighting any sort of bacterial challenge that might be coming up in your skin. They're going to keep your immune system strong while you're doing this healing. Burns are very demanding. If you, you know, for people out there that have had very large areas of burn, they need a lot of nutrition to properly recover from this. The body's going to be utilizing a lot of protein to rebuild and regenerate the skin and the tissue that was damaged. Luckily for me, like I said, it wasn't a major burn, but you know, it's good to share what, what I learned. And this is probably one of the worst burns I've ever had. And um, it's right on the edge of probably a second degree uh, burn. But if I wouldn't have been diligent in pulling that heat out for the first day, I pulled a lot of the heat out of the wound, out of the skin, out of the epidermis, it would have been a lot worse, is my prediction. And so yeah, that's a burn too. We're going to go ahead and call it that. Again, we do do these Facebook Lives on Tuesdays and Thursdays. We love your questions. If you have any questions, feel free to post them below. We'll definitely get back to you. We also are doing a podcast weekly that's called Big Pharma Nation, and you can find that on iTunes, and it's also being broadcast out of Activate Radio. We're always here for you. You can find us at, uh, like I said, Facebook, or you can also email Melissa, M-E-L-I-S-S-A, -S at nutritionalpharmacist.com, 
um, and you can also give us a call. So feel free to reach out to us here, and it's always a pleasure, and God bless. Take care.